right, welcome listeners. On this episode, we are going to our relationship saga. Join me with me and my guest, T. Let's get right into it. Can you feel it? Can you feel it? All right, folks, what is up? What is up? Welcome to another episode of The First Talk. All right, check it out, y'all. I want y'all to welcome my guest, Miss T. Now, this is one of my homegirls from around the way. Uh, she's one of those cool, laid-back type of, you know what I'm people, you know what I'm saying? Type of people that don't really, you know, put up with all that BS and me S. You know what I'm saying? But um, I'll let her. Let you know who she is. But on this episode, we are going to discuss dating. Now, before we get right into the dating and before I introduce Miss T, I want y'all to hit me up. Y'all see everything is right there on your screen. You know what I'm saying? Check this episode out on my YouTube page at Chris Talks 1190. Also, it will be posted up at Chris Talks on Facebook. All right? So, let's get right into it. Miss T, big boss that floss. Hey, how you doing? What's up, guys? What is up? Let what them up, know up? who you are. Introduce yourself. Let them know who you are. The name, your age, where you from, that ALC. Let, let's let them know who you are, T. All right, all right. So, my name is T. Um, I know Chris for a while now. Cool. Chill dude. Um... I'm 43 years old, currently, <laughs> and um, yeah, I'm just kicking it with him right now, babe. You're in a relationship right now? Yes, I am. That's what's up. That's what's up. And where, where are you from? From Staten Island. New York! You're ready, Shaolin. NY in the house! Yo, can I get an applause for NY? <laughs> yes. Shaolin, Malin, Balin. About a relationship, my wife. Well, my fiance is hitting me right now. Wife she is. You believe that, y'all? We sitting here hey. on a show, and wifey is already hitting her up. And you, so, I, 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 my wife never called me. Never. I don't know why. Um, we, I, pardon maybe, me. I need to talk to her about that because she never called me. I need to talk pardon to her. Me, about pardon me, pardon me, y'all. All right, so check this out. Um, as y'all know, the dating saga usually goes one or two ways where we just discuss and ask our guests a couple of questions about their dating life. So, um, one of the first questions that we have is. Do you think men, do you think women have it easier than men? Um, as far as what? Just it easier depends. in general. I think so. I think so. As far as the lifestyle that I live, um, yeah, I believe women can get away more um, than, than guys. I think so, too. Yeah, because you know a lot of a lot of people tolerate more female female than men or men. I believe. Yes. All right. Here go to our second question. Do you think modern women are marriage material? Um. Talk more to the mic. It it could be a yes and a no. It could go both ways. So yeah. Both ways. Yeah. It, it could. All right. All right. I want to ask you different questions because we are on a different level. Yeah, All sure. right. Uh, do you mind if I speak freely? Go ahead. All right. So, all right. So, for all my listeners, I want to let y'all know this one is going to be different because this is the first time. The first time. We had a lesbian on the show. Hey. 
It was the first time for everything, y'all. So, our questions got to be a little bit different. All right? So, let's just be straight up. This is for a teen. You got to be, to listen to this podcast, y'all, you got to be a teen and older. Oh, yeah, no, you got to be grown. They already grown, know. Because this is too... you can't You can't tune into this. If you 18 and younger, you got to be 18 yeah, and older. Yeah, this is for grown today. folks only, you know what I mean? So, what I want to ask you is. Yes. Okay. In a lesbian relationship. Who's the dominant one? The AG. The one that dresses like okay, a dude. Okay, what is the AG? The one that dresses like a dude to take the roles as a man. Take that role, that Okay, so role. y'all... Who don't know the AG is a man. Okay? Now, this is my question for you. Because a lot of men go through BS with their women as far as like taking care of them. They want you to take care of them, bottom this, bottom that, da 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 da. Now, does the AG take on that same role? As a man, did you if if you the AG? I don't know. You, are you the yeah, AG? Yeah, yeah, I am the AG. Okay, so so you take on the role as the man. Okay, so yes, your woman want to go out and all this stuff and all this stuff and all that stuff. Okay. So you as an AG, are you like when you like most men, they have to take care of their women, so they they're seen as the provider. So, as an AG, are you seen as the provider? For the most part, um, yes. Um, well, it goes both ways. She holds me down sometimes. You know what I'm saying? When I don't have a job, when I'm, you know, full of grace, she picks up the pieces. Cause that's how it should be. It's not like, oh yeah, I'm the dominant. I'm the, I'm the nigga in the relationship. I'm the, the guy in the relationship. Excuse my word. Pardon me. I'm the guy in the relationship. I'm the dominant one. I dress like a dude. So that means I got to provide at all times, even when I don't have it. That's full. It's like a regular relationship with a heterosexual, um, with a woman and a man. You know, sometimes yeah. the man full of praise, you yeah. know, full of hard and times. Gotta... And then the woman picks up the pieces. You know what I'm saying? Like I am so glad that you said that. Yes. I am so glad that you said that because I did just did a story on these assholes from Fresh and Fitness that says that there's no women like that. Like women do not pick up the slack yeah, if they man fall off. There's some out there they are gold diggers and there's some out there that are like my fiance. Um you know you gotta give you gotta get up to you gotta give it up to females like my fiance. And I don't mind putting her name out there because she's one of the kinds. You know what I'm saying? She's one of the kinds. And her name is Elvira Rodriguez. Give it up. Give it up. Yes. Let's give it up. Let's give it up. Mrs. Rodriguez. I like the way I said that. Mrs. Rodriguez. Sounds sexy. Rodriguez. 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 Yes, 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 yes. Yes, so, sir. Um, and, um... You're also a parent as well. Yes. So let me ask you this. Was it easier for you to be in a relationship with a male or a female? Is it easier for you to it's be in a It's easier for me to be with a female than male because that's my, that's my preference. You know what I'm saying? So um, back when, I have a story behind that. You know, I have Please kids. Please and tell. Please okay. and tell. So here we go. So, um, I'm about to turn off the music for this one. I'm a, we, I want to hear this in full. Let's lower this down. Please and tell. Go ahead. All right. So back when I was um, living with my parents, I wanted to be with a female. I always knew since I was a kid or as six years old, seven, that my attraction was always to female. And I knew it was kind of weird. Cause I'm not, I know it's kind of, it's wrong and I wasn't supposed to feel that way. But I didn't know I was a kid. My inclination was always female. Oh my God, see this little girl? Like, oh my God. But I knew it was wrong mm-hmm. in this, under mm-hmm. the same breath. And um, 
I was living with my parents, and I couldn't be open with my sexuality because I was afraid that uh, my parents would disown me, especially my mother. Mm. So um, I go, I went with the flow with this dude, and see, I'm a female that wanted kids. I didn't want to adopt because my organs, my rep, you know, the organs that reproduce works. Why not, right? Yeah. I didn't want to be a lesbian that, you know, they adopt children when my inside. You didn't want children that wasn't yours. Right. Yeah. Make, cut the, cut, yeah, cut, cut it short. The t- yeah, that's cut the change. <laughs> right, right. And you ain't want no baby that wasn't yours. <laughs> right, yeah, right, right. Ain't so, nothing wrong with that. So I did, you know, I was covering my sexuality. I was hiding my sexuality. So I did the biggest mistake and of that my had to life. Be a hard life. It was hard. It was hard because I had to pretend. It was hard because I had to be intimate with this dude. I married him. And then... You um, married him? I married him. Just to hide my sexuality. Just to please my mother and those around me. Like, mm. you know. And I wasn't happy. I was I was too busy pleasing other people other and people not myself. Other people instead of trying to please yourself. Right. And people need to learn that. That... that that that's not a good thing. It, let me tell you something. Um, I've been through similar things. I'm not going to go into my story because I want you to view yours. I'm not going to go into my story, but it's one thing that I did learn: if you, if uh, pleasing yourself should be number one. Facts. Listen no to matter that. what it, no matter what it is that you into. Don't make the same mistake I did, please. Pleasing yourself be no, should be number one. All right, go ahead. You yes, can continue indeed. on when you start. So, yes. Um, so, all these years are wasted. I'm over here unhappy. I married the guy. You know, but he, he turned out to be a, a great guy. You know, he was a great mm-hmm. provider. He was a great father. But the sex part was... Uh, it wasn't for it you. It was not for me. I was so, like, disgusted. But I wanted my own kids. You feel me? So you still want to be a mother. I wanted to be a mother, yes. And that's the old, out of my marriage, that's the only thing I don't regret is my two beautiful kids. Can then I, I got to give it up. Can I ask you a question? And I don't mean to jump ahead. Yeah, go ahead. But even though, uh, it's just a quick yes or no. Do y'all have a good relationship? You and the father? Right now, no. No. But, but, but at one point. At one point, yes. It was, okay, that's all I want to ask. Yes. Okay, yeah, continue. I mean, right now it might not be good because he's probably being no. an a-hole. He's probably being no, an asshole. The kids are already grown, so mm-hmm. now he's probably acting like an asshole. But I mean, at some point, I think, uh, I think just just talking to you, I I feel like that was. Yeah, I tried. I tried, you know, doing the wifey thing, you know, and my my fiance knows. So whatever I say on here, she knows already. So yeah, you know, it's no yeah, blackmail. Yeah, well, she gotta tune in to hear right first. <laughs> so yeah, so you know, um. So basically, I did that for many years. I, I hid my sexuality. You already know what I said in the beginning. So this is the chase is that um, a couple of years ago, four or five years ago, I met my fiance today, four years ago. And, you know, a lot of females back in my days wanted me to leave my baby father. Wanted me to leave my baby father and um, make them their my priority, and I was like, are you kidding me? No, 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 no. But what made you feel like, um, let me ask you this, was it just a natural feeling like, yo, um, the same way, like, the same way males want females, was it just like the same feeling when, when you want the females, but it's just, it's just like, I'd rather be with this than that. Was it like the somewhat the same feel? Men, like you know how yeah. men are like attracted to females. You understand right. what I'm saying? So were you attracted to females like the, the same, same way? Yes. Um but more passionately. More yeah, passionately. I mean, well, yeah. you're a female, so it's more emotion involved. Yeah. In it. You know it, sure I mean? is. it sure it's is. It sure is. It's not much it's not as much as a male, but it's more yeah. emotion it's involved. More intense. It's, it's yeah, crazy. yeah, I could yeah, listen, I could imagine. It's well, amazing. I can't imagine, but I could just guess. Yeah, <laughs> Let me say, I could it's, only. It's, it's a great feeling, you know, to be with the person that you adore and you love. So yeah. let me ask you now that um, you're out of the closet, and uh, 
you're full blown. Let me ask you now. Does your does it um do you feel better? I'm not saying because the, the question I want you to understand the question. I'm not. I don't. I don't want to mess up the question. So I want you to understand the question. Do you feel freer now? And I'm not saying as being in a sexual relationship. What I'm saying is this: as being yourself, do you feel freer now, as being yourself, than you did when you was hiding? Does it feel much better to just say this? Who this is who I am? Yes. Yes, I am. Yes. Yes, I do. And the simple fact is that my mother, the person that I was doing all this shenanigans in the beginning, is because I was hiding from, from my mother. And now she find out. She found out a while ago while I was still with, you know, my ex-husband. Um, and she told me, I always knew. Just just know, she's, this is her words. Just know that you're my daughter and I love you and I'm not going to disown you. And I said to myself, damn it, if I knew this, what I knew, if I knew then, what I, I knew now, I would have been with a female, not no guy. But like I said, the only thing that came out good out of this whole shenanigan was my two beautiful kids. That Right now, they're in the service. Give it Bless up for them. Him. All right, let's give it up. Give it up, give it Put up. Put your kids up in the service. Yes, let's yes. give it up for them. Bless them. All right, so... um. There was some stuff that you wanted to discuss earlier that you yes. wanted to speak about um, as far as relationships. So, I mean, what was that that you wanted to um, to speak about? You said because you, you said you wanted to educate. Yeah, I wanted to give people. advice people that are in a relationship as I am, um, same sex relationship. Um, to give some, you know, some good advice out there. Well, hit us with it. Well, you know, don't be first thing formal. Um, don't don't be a cheater. That's not gonna happen. You know, that's that's not good. Yeah, that's a good question. Not good. Cause males cheat on females. Okay, so you as a male, have you ever had a plan? What what do you what do you call yourself? What do you say? Ag. Ag. So you yes. as an ag, have you ever had a female cheat on you? Not that I know of, no. Oh, okay. Because yeah. when you're a cheater, you about to be found out, you know, sooner or later. And just know, just keep this in mind that whatever you do in the hey, dark. Hey, you Spanish, right? Yes. I'm yeah. I, if, if 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 I was a girl, I wouldn't cheat on you. Hey. Hey, I don't know, but Spanish Spanish people got reputations for machetes, all right? Mm, I don't know so about that. I, I don't want to be running down the block nah. and then you chase me and nah, man. No cut one of my no titties violence. off. And just... No violence. <laughs> No so violence. Somebody think I got cancer and shit. You just cut one of my titties. No, right none now. of that. Uh, <laughs> none I don't know. I don't. I don't do those. <laughs> I don't know. They, they tried to do that to me <laughs> because they thought something was going down, but nah. <laughs> All right, that's cool. But she yeah. never been she, not once that you know her. Okay, cool. So you no. don't know you did, but if you would have found out, you would have dumped them. I would have. That's a that's a dumb. Deal breaker. That's a that's a no like go. Like you wouldn't try to forgive them or nothing. Nothing. Not once. No. Not one mistake. No. No, that's not a mistake. Cheating. cheating. Let me tell you guys, cheating is not a mistake. It's a choice. Ah. Here you go. Ah. Wait a minute. Let's go. Let's talk she something real now. Just some knowledge. All right, we got the knowledge ball going. Yep. Yep. We got the knowledge ball going. This is how it is. And, uh, I mean, yeah, that's how it is, man. Also, <laughs> y'all know I got a, y'all know I got a lot of questions because this is the first lesbian we had on the show. We had, we tried to have a transgender oh, on boy. the show. Okay. Okay. He came here and then he told me I got to refer to him. His pronouns was goddess. Oh, wow. Or some other shit. And I was not, I was, no, 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 no. That's not how I met you. Okay. <laughs> but when you come in on the show, we two minutes out from doing the show, and then he changes his pronoun, and I'm like, "What oh, the hell? Boy. We already did the intro. Like, what the yeah, hell? Are you yeah, doing? yeah, yeah. Like confused or something? I don't know. Uh, That's listen. what it sounds like to me. Listen. 
I don't know. Mm. I don't know. I don't know. I want to ask you this, though. Okay. Because there was something that I heard about them changing the name, them changing the spelling of woman. What do you mean? To W O M X N. So they're going to remove the A. And replace it with an X. I want to ask you, what do you think about them changing the name? The name, and this is this is due to certain laws and things that have been pro that has been put in pro uh, process due to the uh, LGBT community. I don't count the other letters because I don't know where they. Well, they came from so they, they they queer um is in the LB Yeah, I don't know the whole thing about that, so Yeah. I just know a little bit. I don't that's why I ask so many questions because I wanna be properly informed about it. Okay. Well, um what what exactly you wanna know? The like, what do you think about them changing the spelling of woman and replacing an E with an X? But what I'm saying is that this was born because of the LBG. See, I wasn't. I wasn't. Honestly, I wasn't aware of that. Yes, I was. I was just informed of this recently. Uh, see, it's recent. So now I'm informing myself just now. Yeah. Well, not yet. But what do you think of them changing that name? Well, um, to, I guess, you know, they're doing it for their own purposes and reasons. Like I said I was just informed about this. So... I don't really know too much about it. I gotta, you know, dig and find out what what is what's what's this all about, you know? Yeah. yeah. All right. Well, I asked you one of those recent questions. I was just wondering what you think because I just recently heard about it, so I was just wondering. So, um, I want to close this show up real quick. So, I want to ask you this. This is my final question to this, to you. To um, what would be the advice now, because you know on social media, they have like basically freaking like try to brainwash people, like Boy. really brainwash people. Yeah, and it's sickening. But what I want to ask you is, if you can give somebody who is in the closet any advice to come out. What would that be? I mean, what would be a, not this Instagram shit? Not this. No, no social platform. Yeah, not that social none media that. when they be telling, oh, you have to do this and have to do that or this. No. And you Simple. talk to Jimbo like this and like that, and he won't come. No, none of that. What would be your advice? Okay. To anybody in this time who is trying to come out, what would be your advice to tell them? Simply just be yourself, be you. Do as you comfortable, you know. If you like men, hey, if you like men, that's you, and you a man. If you like females, and you a female, you know, just be you. Don't be afraid like I was, you know. Don't hide your sexuality. Don't make that mistake like I did, you know. Um, be yourself, and then whoever's around you, that like family, you know what I'm saying. A lot of people hide their sexuality and their identity. Be- because of family, mainly their parents, mm-hmm. you know, be 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 yourself, and and if your family member, if they love you for who you are, they're gonna love you and accept you. Now, those that got strict religions and beliefs and you know all that, I understand all that, but um, you gotta work around that. That's something that's individual, you know. But um, just be yourself. You know, and for those that 
that really, really, truly understand you and loves you, they're going to accept it no matter what. No matter what. No matter. No matter like what. I found out. I found out late. Like I said, you, <laughs> you found out late, but if like, you knew earlier. Earlier, I would have been told, yeah, I want to marry a woman, not a man. That is some very good advice. You know? That's a so, really good advice. See, if somebody wanted to look you up and find you, where can they find you? Find me on Facebook. Find me on Instagram. Uh, what, but under what? Um, Labori. Labori, can you say that? Spell that? <laughs> L-A-B-O-R-I-E. All right, ladies and gentlemen, y'all heard it. Y'all but just know that I'm, I'm taking, y'all. <laughs> hey, she taking, so all you snabs and scabs, don't try to come holler. Cause she ain't willing to do nothing strange for no change, ninja. But don't do it. Yeah, but I'm, I'm happily in my wanna, relationship. If you want to reach out to her, if you have any questions, if uh, you have somebody who is afraid to come out and you want to speak to somebody who knows about these things and can help you, probably help you to come out, I'll probably give you some advice on how to come out. Um, she gave you her link. We're going to put the link up on the YouTube page. So... Um, I want to thank everybody uh, for tuning in. The links are posted up on the screen. Y'all can also send those donations to Chris Talks. Uh, Chris Talks Show 718. We do appreciate all the donations. We do appreciate all those who do donate to us. I want to give a shout out. Oh, yeah, we forgot to do the shout outs in the last show. So we want to give a shout out to, uh, to Miss Nina. AKA Star for shouting us out. We want to give a shout out to um, OZ Jr. Thank you for shouting us out and showing us our love. And to uh, Nay Sips, thank you for shouting out and showing us our love. All right, everybody, I want to thank y'all for tuning in. I so appreciate it. Um, you could have been anywhere else in the world, but you are here with me, and I do appreciate it. Also, Stay blessed, not stressed. Until next episode, I see y'all later. This is Chris Talk.